Yes, it shall. Good morning to you. Trust you're fine. Amen. We are sharing truth this morning on improving your emotional intelligence. Coming from First Samuel 9, 6 through 16. Praise the Lord. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. This channel is packaged to inform and inspire you to a real knowledge of God. Powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Inspiration, the PLACE. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gem son upon the crown of Jesus Christ. If you are tired of commonplace Christianity and now you want the finest quality of it, this is the place to be. Pray now. Father God, we give you thanks, thanks and thanks again. You're good, your mercy and dear forever. We can testify here. Thank you, thank you and thank you. This morning, we ask and receive help from you in the name of Jesus Christ, that Lord, for the sake of your people, we may do a good job of this. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. First Samuel uh, chapter 18 from verse um, 6. Um, where six okay. Now it had happened as they were coming home when David was returning from the slaughter of the Philistine that uh, the women had come out of all the cities of Israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines, with joy, with musical instruments. So the women sang and as they danced and said, Saul has slain his thousand and David has slain his ten thousand. And then Saul was very angry and the saying displeased him and he said they have ascribed to David ten thousand and to me they have ascribed only thousands. Now what more? Can he have but the kingdom? So Saul eyed David from that day forward. And it happened on the next day that a distressing spirit from God came upon Saul and he prophesied inside the house. So David played music with his hands as at other times, but there was a spear in Saul's hands. And Saul cast the spear, for he said, I will pin David to the wall. But David escaped his presence twice. Now Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him, but had departed from Saul. Therefore Saul removed him from his presence and made him captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Therefore when Saul saw that he behaved very wisely, he was afraid of him. And all Israel and Judah loved David because he went out out and came in before them praise the lord okay then um very interesting um the women came around and they were all very excited and happy and just dancing and you know praising god and you know saying things the way it was in their hearts saul has killed thousands david has killed ten thousands you know and all that but the bible says that Saul did not like that statement. Now, these women meant well. They were just celebrating the goodness of God. And uh, they believed that every father would want his son to outdo him. And so with that understanding, they just sang, believing that David was like a son to Saul. And that David was going to be happy to hear all that because it was like a son to him. But unfortunately, it didn't go down well with Saul. Now, <clears throat> we learned something from here. Be sensitive to the person you are dealing with. Um, they, these women meant well. They were, they, as far as they were concerned, they were completely innocent and in what they were doing. They were doing things the way they ought to be and they were saying things that were not out of place, that a, a, a son will outdo a father, you know, and all that. Nevertheless, it didn't go down well with Saul. So you must be careful the person you are dealing with. Be sensitive with the person you are dealing with. This is about emotional intelligence. You just don't do things anyhow. It's important for us to improve in that area of emotional intelligence and therefore uh, um, study the situation, read the room, like some people would like to put it, read the room, study the situation and um, <clears throat> know what to do at each point in time. This is about emotional intelligence. Be careful what you say. You need to know the person you are dealing with, okay? This is what these women fail to do. They fail to understand that Saul, you know, had personality issues and they just did things the way they normally would do things out of expectation, you know, and it didn't really go down well. God help us all in Jesus' mighty name. But for a child of God, one of the things that God wants us to do is to improve our emotional intelligence. It's better for you, better for the people around you, better for your Christian witness. Praise the Lord. So, you know, um, David began to eye 
sorry, Saul began, began to eye David from that point on. He said, okay, what else remains now but for, for them to ascribe the entire kingdom to him? Insecurity has set in. Jealousy, envy, or they are all coming. And when insecurity, jealousy, envy, they do some things. They, they make people cruel. They, the best of people, when, you, when they allow envy, jealousy, insecurity to come, it makes them cruel. They do amazing things. All right, talk to Modros intentions, you know, and all. It, it suspends common sense this thing suspend reasoning is only after you have done everything that you know <laughs> uh, like my people will say that your eyes will come down <laughs> interesting statement isn't it that's what happens but that's what jealousy insecurity or feelings of insecurity that's what they bring about that's what they yeah that's what they bring about and that's what happened with Saul here <clears throat> so much so that on one occasion or two, two when he's had, he had his uh, melancholic problems, you know, and some spirit was disturbing him, and David began to play as at other times. Twice Saul tried to throw some spear to pin David to the wall, and those two occasions, uh, God ensured that David escaped those things, okay? And so that's what jealousy, envy, insecurity, those are the kind of things they can bring about. It could be God help us all in the name of Jesus Christ, all right? Then, so we, what, what else do we learn there? God will deliver you from all these kind of things or for all the, the 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 anger and the attempts of uh, people who don't have any good basis other than these things that we described you know to come at you god will take you god will make you overcome those things god will make you escape their schemes in the mighty name of jesus christ <clears throat> and then um it says that Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him. That's another thing we see there. That look, when people know that God is with you, reverence will follow. <laughs> they are going to re revere you. They are going to fear you. They are going to know that ah, one the people like people say one with God is majority. You know, God is with this person. Therefore, be careful the way you do because his God may rise up and fight you. So when he when he, his Bible says he was afraid of David because. The Lord was with him. It's, it's, it's very, very interesting. And I think that one of the things I want to recommend is that you pray and reach out for the heavy presence of God in your life because it will make a big difference. People are going to fear you or revere you when they know that God is with you. So he didn't even like to see him. He removed him from his presence. He went and made him, you know, uh, some form of military captain and put him over a thousand people. Okay, <clears throat> that's 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 what happens. And the Bible says that David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Honestly, when the Lord is with you, it is everything. When the anointing is upon you, it is a lot. Praise God. And the praying, the leading of the Spirit of God would bring about um, divine wisdom in all that you do. Honestly. Um, Moses was the one who prayed, Lord God, if your presence do not go with us, don't carry us there at all. This presence of God in one's life, company of God in one's life is everything. And we should just go for it and make sure that you develop it until it becomes the biggest thing in your life. That's what David heard here. And, you know, uh, he, he was having conquests everywhere in the military, uh, in the war front, at home, everywhere he was having conquests because God was with him. The Lord was with him. And then he behaved himself wisely. Divine wisdom was made available to him because God was with him. Hallelujah. You know, and uh, again, it says in verse 15, when Saul saw that David behaved very wisely, he was afraid of him. Honestly, divine wisdom, when divine wisdom operates in you, the people around they revere you. They just know that this person is different. This person is special. The things that come forth out of his mouth, his decisions, you know, and all those things, they are way out of this world. Indeed, they are from heaven. <laughs> that's why they are way out of this world. And that's what happens, you know, and all that. Another thing I see about David here is this. It says in verse 13, made him captain over a thousand and he went out and came in before the people. That's the first time. And then towards the end, it says, uh, but all Israel and Judah loved David because he went out and came in before them. I need to explain that went out and came in. That, it, it was their way of describing a people person. You know what we call a people person when the bible when they say he went out and came in before them okay that's what he's trying to describe david came to the level of the people showed them understanding even though he was a captain now at a very very early age he was somebody over a thousand you know that's be bigger than a centurion really at a very very early age i mean he was he, he could wear i mean he has stars you know and all that around him and um, but he related with the people he came to their level that's the meaning of went in and came out among the people among his fellow soldiers that was what happened okay went out and came in before the people among uh, the civilians again 
whether he, he, he went out and came in before the people. So among his soldiers, he was like that. Among the civilians, he was like that. He was just a people person. And um, believe me, again, it comes back to emotional intelligence. He just knew what to do in relating with people. He, he was able to come down to their level. He was able to identify with them and to relate with them, you know, and all that. You remember that we, we, we said some things like this sometime in the past. Maybe I know I didn't describe it as emotional intelligence. I don't know. But then um, that was it. I was trying to make an illustration talking about, you know, the royal family many, many years back. They would always wear their gloves. They couldn't shake your hand with skin to touch skin until Princess Diana came along and then she would do skin to skin and they are, they are, all of them are learning it now <laughs> you know another thing i've just seen uh, a couple of months ago i saw with them they, be, they, they never used to do what they call public display of affection now um one of their you know princes came along and just began to do it everybody's joining now people are learning to hold in their spouses in public and all that it's emotional intelligence and that's important for you to develop your emotional intelligence and and relate with people live a life that people will know that this is like like us it's like it's like one of us it's like us believe me this is very very um good and i want to encourage us to develop so that you can go out and come in among your people praise god like david uh, some of you will have noticed this i seem to like this david guy <laughs> praise god yeah one of the guys i'm going to check check up immediately i get to heaven you know i just greet the lord and then please where is david <laughs> praise the lord thank you very much for sharing time with us this morning i hope you have enjoyed this please share 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 as much as possible god bless you have a wonderful day